going on everyone? It's me, Alex, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4, but this time we're actually playing the new expansion by Blood Alone. Crumbs. And this video is actually sponsored by Paradox Interactive, so thank you for them for bringing me this opportunity to bring the expansion to you a little bit early. Uh, and if you want more information and to get the Buy Blood Alone expansion, click on my link in the description uh, and in the pinned comments. That would be very much appreciated if you could help out the channel by doing that. And uh, if you do want to see more, please do comment, like and subscribe. Around half of you aren't subscribed, so if you do want me to pester you in your sub boxes, click on that button too. But let's just get into this. And if you just weren't familiar of what the new expansion adds, there's a brand new Italian focus tree along with a new Ethiopian and Swiss focus tree. There's a new uh, peace conferences. Uh, there's also an aircraft designer, unit medals, embargo interactions, new unit models, new plane models, and over 12, uh, well, there is 12 new music tracks. Today, Paradox challenged me to play as uh, Italy and uh, see if, if we can try and, you know, Bring back the Roman Empire. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. Why not let me know in the comments right now how you think it's going <laughs> to. Oh. Now, I don't want my beautiful face to distract from the action too much. So let's make me go away for now. We also have a career profile as well. Uh, where you can get awards for... Uh, ooh. Well, hey, I've got career points. Uh, so it's just a way to get achievements uh, when you don't actually have to worry about but doing stuff on Iron Man mode. But as you can see, I've already been collecting some. Here he is. Here's Mussolini. This is what we'll be focusing on today, ladies and gents. Uh, we start off with Reggio Esertio, and we also have a reconstruction of uh, Industrialis. Uh, and of course, we have Victor Emmanuel. This is what the situation is looking like at the moment. Of course, we are going to start off with the mm, conflict in Ethiopia. Now, I am playing on an early build, so if you see bugs, I'm sure... The Hoi team are hard at work at squishing them. And if we just uh, take a little look at the Italian tree, you can see it's mahusive. It, 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 it's it's really quite vast. So we we start off with, you know, the industrial area, army, air, navy, and then uh, how various things can go. So depending on how the uh, conflict in Ethiopia goes, it will unlock various, uh, <laughs> probably hopefully solid progress we'll get. And, and uh, we'll see if we can conquer the world. I do like the idea of having modern musculus. Uh, it creates a variant of the cataphract mortis and a super heavy tank chassis. Chassis. Sashi. Sashi. Sashay! Oh, or we could have the Neptune class, the Neptunus, the greatest warship that ever existed. Ooh, could go monarchist. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how Ethiopia goes because it, it actually is uh, a lot more in depth now. And with the new fighter designer, you unlock various airframes and then you can design uh, what kind of aircraft you want via those particular things. Um, I'm quite happy with having medium airframes at the moment. Okay, so we have our forces. Uh, this is a new nation that was added, but we kind of just annex them fire an event most of the time. So hopefully that'll go to plan. Uh, in terms of field marshal, we're going to focus on someone that has good attack. And he's also a desert fox. So we'll get old uh, Rodolfo in. And of course, we'll have to get some aircraft up. So as you can see uh, in Oth Ethiopia, they do have multiple air zones now. Um, so I am going to get some more planes over from the Italian mainland uh, to completely have superiority. That's the aim anyway. So we'll just get a little bit of planning in for uh, Messe before we go on the offensive. Although, I reckon they're probably good. The plan preparation is... Oh no, it's building. It's still building. However, they're getting their entrenchment higher every time we... Uh, you know, for as long as we wait. So we might as well just go on in. Uh, see what we can achieve. Because, uh, as you can see, there is a war escalation now in Ethiopia. And um, the higher it gets, the uh, more punishments we get. Um, which I want to avoid uh, as, as much as possible, uh, uh, quite frankly. But hopefully with aerial superiority, we're going to be doing okay. End the Christmas offensive. So here we go. Uh, I could either... I gain logistics in Ethiopia, which does decrease my supply consumption. Um, or I can get attack bonus. Yes, by any means necessary. <laughs> now, I'm only... I'm not doing this at five speed yet, which is the speed in which I usually do uh, wars, which I really shouldn't. Uh, and we're just going to keep on... Keep on pounding. Keep on pounding. Yes, we do move to annex. Tata. Ta utter subjugation. Good. Okay. Everything's coming up, Alex. I mean, well, technically Italy. 
Success in Southern Ethiopia. We've unlocked solid progress. Good stuff. Good stuff. How are the casualties looking? Oh, uh, th three to one. Three to one. That's t that's that that's 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 okay. I'm aware. I'm aware. My supply is pretty awful. Um, but hey, when push comes to shove. So we're slowly closing in. I mean, it's taken uh, uh, more resources than I would like, and ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. He refuses to surrender. Damn. Uh, that's irritating because now we're going to have to focus on actually, well. Increasing the compliance. So we need to pacify Ethiopia. Yes, uh, we've declared how they are crushed. Um, so uh, we'll have to do our best to get rid of that. I was actually thinking of producing aircraft that were just basically tanks in the sky, but I may leave that for another video. I think I may focus on just light, quick airframes to have aerial superiority, or maybe cast. Oh, yes. Cast designer. There we go. Let's see if Cass is still king in Hoi 4. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I can do Triumph in Africa, so that's nice. Uh, and we unlock the Italian occupation decisions. Okie dokie. Oh my god, they still look like freaking biplanes. Oh no. Maybe I could use that. Does that look better? Yeah, that looks a bit better. And then we can choose our equipment tag. So why don't we go ahead and just do the... Uh... The helmet. <laughs> it's fun experimenting with the various airframes. So I think I'm just going to have... Um, I guess we could have recon. Do I really care about recon though? That does also add in air recon. But I would prefer just to have tons of... Uh, do you know what? Yeah, let's have recon in our in our fighters. A little bit of a recon camera. Okay, so um, I would love to increase my compliance. So shall we just go ahead and proclaim the new emperor of Ethiopia? Yes. <laughs> yes, we shall. <laughs> Increase my compliance, damn you. And then I will also get old Francisco Di Martini. Uh, he's going to go in and help increase compliance as well, I hope. That's a lot of resistance. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Hmm. He wants to make a deal. I'll just say they must be subdued. Oh, here we go. I can discredit. Yes. He's a coward. Don't like him. Do you know what? Balance of power, full on Mussolini, the conqueror of Africa, avenger of Adwa, is without doubt the most important Italian statesman since the days of the Roman emperors. Good. So here we have the national balance of power. So depending on if you want to support the deuce or get rid of him, each have different kind of consequences as you go uh, further in the scales. Now I really needed to uh, reduce the damage to my garrisons. So Mussolini's going to take over the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And that's kind of where you want his power, I guess. Yeah, and consolidated. At least for me, I think that's where we're going to go. Completely forgot about foreign affairs, because I want to start getting old uh, Balkan ambitions and stuff, right? Or should I focus more on <laughs> our economy? I'm in a bit of a state. I think security militias. Maybe. Yes. Let's do that. I'm spending far too much time that I would have liked on uh, doing stuff like this. Oh, I should probably actually do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Electrify the areas. And the old ministry, of course. Oh yeah, the colonial police, that would be lovely. Lovely. I should have been doing that from a long time ago. That's my mistake. I've only got 400 days to pacify Ethiopia now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sweats. I need to start conquering like Yugoslavia or something. And why not start using some of the Ethiopian generals we've got recruited, eh? <laughs> That'll be quite good to level up. Yes, we'll farm the Ethiopian generals. Try and get them leveled up. Yes, let's go ahead and get Renato Riki. I mean, that does change the balance of power a little bit, but I think that's okay. And I'm also going to take over the Ministry of uh, Cooperations. Uh-oh. And then I'll just slander the deuce so he doesn't get too powerful. Where do you think you're going, mate, eh? There's so many things I would love to do, but I, I just don't have the time. This tree is just so big. It's so big. <laughs> okay, foreign affairs. We need to start going ahead with that. I'm doing some electrifications to try and uh, increase compliance even quicker than it than it currently is. Yeah, that's that's not going up quick enough. We need higher. I think the resistance is all going down as well. Yes, good. Resistance bad. Compliance good. Balkan ambition. I'm coming for you, Yugoslavia. I ain't afraid to take you. Oh, also, it's just so easy to create air wings now. So we've got um, bam, and then bam, 
and then it's done. And they're already um, set to 100 anyway, which is great. And then you just go for close air support, kablamo, kablamo, there we go. And then that's it. That's It's as easy as that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, I, I, I mainly want to stick to the Mediterranean, so we'll increase the, maybe the speed of our fleet, although the battleships, that is very tasty. It does decrease our sub detection though. Escort fleet, that's pretty tasty. Battle fleet. Let's increase our division recovery rate. Um, spirit to the Air Force, well... Quick improvisation, methinks. I'll occupy Albania, Yugoslavia, are they gonna respond? Ah, there we go, sorry, sorry. I got that mixed up. I thought it was an event, but no, I have to send the ultimatum. Bam. You will be conquered. Uh, hopefully. They have chosen a worse fate. Da -da -da -da. And then we'll have to go uh, after Romania as well. But no matter. No matter. I don't care about that. Just adding some d extra depth charges to my destroyers. I would like more naval dockyards soon, though. So we are at war. I believe we're going to have aerial superiority. The end of the League of Nations. Good. A useless thing anyway. So we have 419. And they have some on aerial superiority. I don't know uh, if we're actually shooting down any. Cass is working nice. I'm actually going to go and try and intercept their planes. Oh yeah, so you can also change the cohesion of your units. So I'm going to have balance cohesion for this one. Uh, and then aggressive for the attack. And now we have the new peace conferences. Uh, so we could... Like, oh, uh, I, I would like to take your navy, yes. Do they even have any to take? I will select all. <laughs> and then I also want to take all of the states. And then I'll confirm an exit. Woohoo! And then uh, I guess the time may come for Romania to perish. I'm going to go ahead and get La, La Batiaglia de Grano. Oh, God. Uh, get me food, basically. Yeah. I'm trying with the pronunciations, guys. I really am. Mussolini wants more men in the army. He shall have it. Uh, oh, gosh. I've got a long way to go. I've only got 90 days to pacify Ethiopia. Ouch, 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 ouch. Unfortunately, I probably need to switch over to military industry now, which is quite unfortunate because my... Uh, Consumer goods are not as high as I might like. I feel like I'm role-playing Italy IRL rather than actually uh, doing really well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll let Romania kind of throw themselves on me for a little bit first. Then when they deorg themselves, we go in with everything we can get. Let's see if we can close a little encirclement, maybe. There we go. Crush them. Why? I'm surprised that it picked that for the... <laughs> it's not a biplane. I assure you, it's a very good plane. There we are. Wee! Dee 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 dee. Yes, my, my plane with many, many cannons. Uh-oh, what did I just click on? Yes, that's fine. Yes, we have <laughs> many, many, many opportunities to shoot down our enemies. Oh, I really, really don't like it when the UK has a load of troops down here. I've spent so many resources and stuff just trying to increase compliance and it, it, it hasn't been enough. It hasn't been enough. I'll discredit him again. The one, I, I'd say Italy does get a lot of PP pee -pee nowadays, which is very nice. Just surrender, mate. Just give up. Give in. Give in to me, please. Same goes for you, Romania. I'm sick of your poop. I think we finally got the upper hand <laughs> against Romania. It's taken it long enough, but uh, we're getting there at least. Oh, hallelujah. Do I take all the states? Um, I'm certainly going to take a lot of them, especially the oil. There we go. And let's just have some fun with a bit of... That's <laughs> just a little bit of liberating. Just a little bit of liberating. And Romania is still there. But we also have Moldova and Ukraine now. I'm looking pretty chunky. I'm, 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 I'm feeling all right. Except, except in freaking Ethiopia, where my compliance is still... Oh, and I think I just gave a territory over to Hungary. There we go. Yes, you may have that. It would be great if Mussolini could stop giving me missions. But he doesn't. He just keeps on giving. Uh, I need to strengthen the Air Force. 500 new fighters and... Fight oh, that, that's not... Uh, that's... Jeez, oh, that's unreasonable, sir. Oh, I can demand the Balearic Islands. May I has, please? Uh, go on. You know it makes sense. Let's just improve relations for a little bit. Just, just, so hopefully that might have a better chance of going through. Oh, they did give it to me. Nice. I think we're gonna go for Mare Nostrum. It was by naval power that ancient Rome first defeated Carthage. By investing in naval power, Italy can strive for control of the Mediterranean. 
Yes, man, Nostrum. These are a lot of ports that I now need to defend. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh, I'm going to be trying to um, bomb the allies out of the sky, I think. Out of the seas, I should say. Out of the seas. Under the sea. Under the sea. Germany's sending me some volunteers. Love it. New Roman citizens. Granting citizenship to the native population will help us gaining the cooperation. Yes. Reduce the resistance. Compliance is getting up there, like 71%, 61%, 71, 70, 64, 64, 61. I've forgotten how much I need. Is it like 65 in everywhere? Either way, I think I'm getting close, but I don't know if I'll finish it before World War II breaks out. I'll keep trying, but I do need a bigger military and fast. Oh! I will offer you protection. Yes, the Iberians have enjoyed relative security in recent past, but it's clear right now they will not be able to defend themselves. Go on then. Uh, let's see if they actually like us enough to do that. I'll improve relations with you. You kind of like me, ish. Nationalist is Spain. Uh... <laughs> We've got... Wow. Really? They just became my puppets. Seriously? Novus Imperium Romanum. Oh. 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 That's tasty. I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with my Novus Imperium Romanum. Giggity giggity goo. I just need enough compliance to get this damn thing out. Just let me end this. Please. I think I've gone about the- I must have gone about the wrong way of doing the uh, compliance because this has taken forever and I'm still not, not really there. And I will discredit him again. <laughs> Please. Um, sure. At this point, yes. If if that will if that will finish the war, and I think it does. Yes, yes, we have. We do, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Whoop de whoop de freaking do. Um, now I can invite Hungary into my faction as well. Ooh. Well, I think I'm almost ready to go against the UK. I think it's still going to be a bit of a risk, but um, I think we need to make a stand against the tyranny, the absolute tyranny of the British Empire. South American allies. Well, surely doozy. Yeah, go on then. Why not? All are welcome in the Novus Imperium Romanum. That's a lot of war goals. But the main one, um, oh, do I go for Greece? I think I will. I'm a bit surprised they haven't joined the Allies. I'm fine with that though, because I think I can crush them now. Yes, yes, I'm crushing them. Conquer! Conquer all. Oh, it's good to be Mussolini in the game. Uh, okay. Huh. That was easier than I expected. Let's see. Let's try and capture Gibraltar. But this is going to cause a big upset. Are they just destroying me? I think they may be about to just be overwhelming. Oh, crap. Heals me thinking, oh yeah, we're going to annihilate them. But I think my navy is going to get trounced here. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I've reinforced with my other navy, uh, but we have lost... Oh, no, we've lost the pride of the fleet. Yeah, we're losing a lot of ships. I'm sending the rest of my fleets in. Yeah, that went horribly for me. I can't... Oh, balls. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Ouch. Worked the whole damn game. I think, I, I think I'm really quite bad at... Um... Getting the sort of navy. I need to. I need to fiddle more with the air force. That's that's the key. The air force is the key. And they are pushing in here. But again, they don't really have a whole lot of supply. So I'm going to see if I can take Gibraltar from them. There we are. Who else wants to join? Peru and Venezuela. Go on then. Yes. Then we'll see if we can take. Oh, the fall of Gibraltar. Very good. Very good. Paraguay, Uruguay, Panama, Argentina. What? Peru, Chile, Brazil, Bolivia, Ecuador. Oh my god. Um, so all of South America just joined me. That... Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, sure, let's call everyone in. When can I declare Greater Italy? I've got to be pretty close, right? I would need to go to war with Germany. Oof. That's bad. Oh my... What the heck? Where did you come from? I am so chaotic in this playthrough today. Oh my did uh, oh my giddy aunt. Am I about to do some sort of really ridiculous Ah, uh, we took it. Okay, okay, okay. Just 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 freaking go uh blow them out of the water, get the Suez, and we'll screw them from behind in terms of um going down to Africa. That's what I meant. But this is going bad. this is going poorly. Wow. I think they've actually attritioned themselves to death up here. They have, like, no equipment for their tanks. So many events. So many decisions. 
and another failed mission. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoopsie. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, my God. I, did, did I win? I may actually be destroying them now. Oh, how fun. Oh, I just got... Oh, I, oh, oh, I got wrecked. My navy. My beautiful navy. Oh, sad panda. Is it still happening? Is it still going on? Oh, good lord. Yeah, get out of there. We're going to repair our navies. I'm surprised at how well the UK is holding. I mean, should I be really, though? They got between 166 and 238 divisions in 1941. Have they had a big buff or something? Oh my god. I need to repair my navy and build it up again. Build me up. Buttercup, baby, just to let me down. Mess me around, and then worst of all, I got encircled, baby, don't you know? Ah, oh, they've put so many resources into uh, trying to take all of this. It's rather shocking. I obviously have put troops here. I need to reorg all of this. D oh my god. Alex, stop. You have 48 divisions just sitting here not doing anything. Oh my days. Jesus wept. <laughs> this is just horrible. This is pure. Oh, I hate fighting. I hate fighting in Africa. It sucks. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can maybe try and do an invasion over southern England. I, 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 I'm a little bit um, unsure if I'm going to be able to get naval supremacy. But uh, I'm going to try. So it would be nice to try and take out the UK. Enemy supremacy is high. It's a shame I can't take my allied navies and use them. Because I really did screw myself by uh, <laughs> sacrificing a load of it down here. Oh my god, I managed to get supremacy for just a second and the invasion's launched. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my god! Hello? I don't know how I did that. I somehow memed it. I legitimately have no idea what occurred there. I, I was I was mine laying and then uh, I switched it over to naval invasion support and then it just did it. We have a chance. We've landed. If we can just do this before the USA joins, then uh, oh, 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 blessings. Blessings be. I can't believe we actually managed to land. Oh my god. It may be turning around. We may be doing this. Oh, 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 it's Mussolini's wet dream. Oh my days. Oh, wet dream. No! That kind of works for me too. Yes! Yes! Break the Molotov ribbon drop because I'm going to have peace and then I can come after you, you dickhead Hitler. I mean, um, annoying person Hitler. Shouldn't swear in sponsored videos, you know? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe I managed to get that invasion to land. I know most. Some of you are going to think I cheated, but I promise you. I promise you I didn't. This was just pure luck. Pure luck. Oh, oh, let's take Cockermouth. Oh. Come on, take the Cockermouth. Oh! oh, yeah. Why would Brazil contest me here? Ah. Uh. Uh, just for good measure, though, I do want Sussex and London. Okay, so I actually have the most to demand here, which is great. I will submit my demands. I'm still going to select all and, and demand it. This is, uh, I'm enjoying the new options here. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Can I take someone's navy? Yeah, I also want France's navy. This is gonna just be Border Gore Central, isn't it? Player-led peace deals, that's what we need. I appreciate them putting in a new system. This is this is fun. What is the state of the world? Okay. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh dear. It's such a mess. But who can we invite? The British Empire wants to join my faction. Come on in, buddy. So now I'm probably gonna try and take out the Axis. And there's only Germany. Some for some reason Vichy actually can I declare war on Vichy? They're guaranteed by Germany. Well, we'll sort them out. We'll sort them out, don't you worry. I have no desire to get in it with the Allies at all anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna hopefully absolutely destroy the Germans while they're uh, having a kerfuffle with the Soviets. Chaos. May it rain. I've been embargoed by the US. What? I'm taking down Vichy, man. Uh, does that, can I do that? Oh, I haven't completed towards a greater Italy. Damn it. <laughs> I've been working at that the whole damn game. Oh, 
Oh well, I still get to expand and gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh yes, I went Mare Nostrum instead. That was a mistake on my part. Whoopsie daisy, I can't be great at Italy. But uh, I can live as a lion. The Italian people were not made to be sheep. They were not meant to sit quietly and contend to the second row of history. They were made to seize their own destiny. Yes, I can be lion tamer. Good, 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 good. I will keep demanding until I get what I want. I will keep demanding until I get what I want. I will keep demanding until I get what I want. I will keep demanding until- Hungary, you have no use for this, you fools. There. <laughs> no, Vichy France shall not exist. Well, look at me now. Look at Mare Nostrum, Novus Imperium Romanum. This is looking pretty chonky. I do need to take out the Axis, though. Someone else wants to join me now, too. Belgium! Go on, then. Now, one thing I didn't realise is that I actually um, control the entirety of the UK's fleet now, which includes seven aircraft carriers, which is so... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. I mean, do we actually have any? And they all... Oh my goodness me. They're all equipped. Oh, brilliant. That's incredible. Just going to try and produce some aircraft that have decent uh, ability to spot, uh, which these do. I put a spotting camera on them. Then why don't we stick some maybe radio navigation on there? Ooh, go on then. Why don't we also try and fit some... Do I even want defense turrets on these? No. Full attack. No surrender. Oh, yes. Extra fuel tanks. Go on then, son. Uh, you want 5,000 brand new trucks. Oh my days, how many does he actually want? Oh, I already have that. Nice. Well, hey, that's... Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Claims on Turkey. I'm coming for you. Potential enemies, the United Kingdom. But they're my puppets anyway, so... Anyway, Turkey joined the common turn. Not what I wanted. <laughs> but we have a landing in Turkey, which is... Nice. Are you actually not even crossing the freaking road? Cross the road, damn you! Cross the damn road! What's the matter with you people? Are we over? We are. Oh, lovely jubbly. The focus tree, though, is vast. Uh, so if there is another tree that you want me to try and, and do, do let me know. Probably should have said that at the start of the video instead of at the, close to the end, but hey-ho. Okay, I'm starting to shoot the occasional plane down, but I think that my, uh, my air detection is pretty horrid. Gas is nice, though. Panama capitulated. Were they on my side? Oh, sacre bleu. The United States has already lost 100,000 troops. 100k to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think Colombia is also at war with the US. Yeah, so they're just gonna... Okay. Well, all of South America might fall, but... Um, just want to try and take out Turkey. You what? No, Turkey. There we go. Then any Soviet divisions are just encircled there. Gobbledy gobbledy goo. I can declare war. Called allies. We're going after Germany, baby. Oh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Sports time. Oh my god. I forgot about the Soviets. And Bulgaria too. I think this is going to be a case of beating um, Germany rather quickly. Hmm. I'll send more into the air. See if we can't shoot some of the bastards down. We're exchanging better, despite being a bit outnumbered. Am I at war with Bulgaria? I'm not. Am I? What is Bulgaria? Is the real question. Oh yeah, I love battle planning and winning. Those are a few of my favorite things. Oh my god, that's 1,000 bombers. Ay ay ay. Can I send anything additional to help? Go on then. Even though I definitely can't fuel this. I don't know how Germany can fuel this either. The USA blew the Panama. They must be desperate. Oh no. I guess our faction potentially did. Either way, that's just going to death stack into hell and I want nothing else to do with it. Are we actually going to encircle the Maginot? Huh, we went around it. And it's working. Funny. That, isn't it? Well, they're not able to stop all of my casts. Some of them are getting shot down. I don't know about this because, like, fighters just don't seem to find each other much anymore. Like, we're only losing one every now and then. It's a bit odd. Um, even though my air detection is really quite good. I don't know. I guess I need to relearn how the air work. Oh, why do I have a camel division in... Sure! Yeah, we've got camel divisions in Germany. Why not? Problem? Well, we're starving an entire German uh, army corps down here, which is very, very poggers. I have no idea what's going on in the rest of the world. And this is, oh my days. Yeah, uh, Germany's just doing their thing, taking back Turkey. But uh, I, don't, I don't, I'm not really fussed about that because if I capitulate them, I get the land back anyway. Yeah, this is very nice. Look at all them starving, 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 starving people. We're also just so close just to defeating them too. 
I want it over and done with. Take Dortmund. Oh, yes. Ah, Bulgaria is still in its own axis. Okay, well, can I have, a can I have access to your axis? Yeah, I think we'll just take Bulgaria out of the picture. And then hopefully we can just expand back out here and, and retake our precious, Formazione. precious Turkey. Because the thought of no Turkey Pronto. really grinds my gears. How does... Hello? The fa I will take what is mine. <laughs> Germany's at war again? What are they doing this time? Oh, truce. Oh, God. End game. Late game hoy. Um, this, <laughs> this kind of sums it up. It is... I mean, this game has turned into what I would usually expect. An utter mess. Well, I think I've got to a point where Mussolini would be very proud, right? Because it... I, they, I, oh. <laughs> I have pretty much reformed the Roman Empire. I mean, we've got a bit of, like, to crop up in the east. And then, of course, I didn't want this war anyway. And I also didn't want this one. But, you know, that's what happens uh, when, when, when the world just goes to absolute poop. <laughs> so... Honestly, the Italy focus tree was a heck of a lot of fun. Would highly recommend it. If you liked what you saw in this video and you want to get the DLC for yourself, please do. Click on that link in the description. But honestly, I'm kind of at the point where it's just going to be a case of mopping up, even, even with the Soviets. So I think in this massive, massive world war that won't probably end for decades, we would come out as the Novus Imperium Romanum. The victor! There's uh, there's certainly a lot to get your hands on in this DLC, so expect more coming from me soon with other focus trees. We did kind of exhaust our options, I think. I could do Caligula's Pride now that I actually re re researched the super heavy hole. But yes, we've kind of done all of the expansion stuff that we can kind of get. Uh, I could go to war with Nation Francais, etc. But overall, I'm really quite happy with how that went. I was very surprised that I've actually managed to kind of secure pretty much all of the Mediterranean. I don't know how they that back obviously i just take that back in a second but hey ho thank you for watching if you did enjoy please do comment like and subscribe thank you to paradox once again for sponsoring this video and i'll see you soon ta-da many thanks to turquoise zong ian clark kim eric richard cruz amazon fulfillment strategist daniel or maximilian foreman wire green onion duck zachariah mosby chancellor 64 jack troku chickley crotch logan whaley and bash for being champions of the rambler cult here on youtube and many thanks to all the other patrons too